masks are a fact of life. We've got to wear them, but how do you make a mask look good with your outfit? Well, the first thing to understand is that you can do better than this. And I'm going to show you how in this video, I've got some great mask options, where to get them, as well as five tips for pairing a mask with your outfit coming right up. I'm Brian Sakawa, and you're watching He Spoke Style, where we've got all the tips, knowledge, and inspiration you need to dress well, have more confidence, and unlock your potential. Before we get into the five tips, want to let you know that we are now offering masks in the HSS shop. They're available in wool and cotton. They're cut to have full coverage. And one thing I really like is the chin cup, which is not only very comfortable, but also helps the mask fit the contour of your face really well. Also, to help out with the fit, we've got adjustable elastic straps a bendable wire nose bridge to ensure a secure fit as well as maximum comfort. Lining is 100% Bemberg with an inside pouch to hold a filter if you so choose. And these masks are hand washable. Links to shop are down below in the description. Now let's get to our five tips for matching a mask to your outfits. Tip number one is to consider the fabric. I do have to say that wearing a mask made from a high quality fabric makes a huge difference in terms of comfort and your ability to integrate a mask more cohesively into your outfit. I started off the pandemic probably like a lot of you wearing those blue disposable masks. If you've worn one, you know that they're not super comfortable, they're itchy, and in terms of incorporating it into a look, it really doesn't look like it belongs. Sticking to masks in wool or cotton, fabrics that our clothes are made of too, helps you to combine them much more seamlessly. One of the ways I found to make a mask look more cohesive with an outfit is to choose one that is darker than the overall look. Honestly, making the mask one of the darkest pieces, if not the darkest piece of the outfit, is a great way to have it sort of recede from being front and center. It is an accessory, and it's a new accessory that we're all kind of figuring out how to work into our outfits, and I found that having masks in darker solid colors makes it much easier to work them into a variety of different looks from casual all the way to suited in an unobtrusive way. Speaking of suited, here's a suited look to illustrate tip number three, which is to add in a subtle pattern. This is kind of a little bit of a flip-flop from the previous tip in that here, we're using this as an opportunity to let the mask take center stage a little bit more, but not too much. A mask with a subtle pattern paired with a very plain, simple outfit is a really nice way to add in some visual interest. Here, I'm thinking of how I'm using the mask visually very much in the same way that I consider the grenadine tie that I'm wearing. There's a subtle texture there that you see when you get closer that makes it interesting, but is not so in your face that it takes over the entire outfit. Another really easy way to style a mask is to do it monochromatically. If it's the same color as everything else you're wearing, it's going to fit in. But it's also important that you remember the first tip, which is to pay attention to the fabric, because although those disposable masks are blue, they don't really integrate quite as well as one in a nice wool or cotton, for example. With a monochromatic styling, you can also experiment with texture to add a little bit more interest. This mask, although it looks like a solid navy from far away, is actually bird's eye, which I think is a really cool, subtle detail. Tip number five is to make a statement. Let's face it, masks stand out, so why not let it become the focus of your outfit? You know, in general, I would say my style is more traditional, kind of on the conservative side, but honestly, I absolutely love this mask, even though it is such a standout piece. The fabric is actually a Super 120s wool from Holland and Sherry. The boating stripe with the kind of preppy overtones really influenced the way I styled this with more or less of a classic menswear uniform. With a turtleneck, the mask really takes the place of like a classic rep tie. I do think that since masks are a part of how we dress these days, that it's worth putting the effort into styling them in a cohesive way. We've got a small but really great selection of masks in the shop, which I've linked to right over there. Click on that, check them out, and see if there are any that speak to you and fit your style. 